Hello loyal fans and welcome back to Star Wars Night Shield Republic. In the last episode I shot my mouth off and made a few mistakes while trying to get into the tomb. But in this episode we shall go on to the next tomb and hopefully I will know what I'm doing. That was, yeah, let's not talk about it ever again, huh? Sounds good? I like it. Wait. You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? I got it from a gentle himself, if you must know. Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Not exactly. Oh, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. Whatever. Just get him away. Let me think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, this is going to be awesome. So, we have ourselves archaeologists digging around. And over here we have Laoshi. Or Laoshi or Why can't I remember how to pronounce names? Oh yeah, this is Star Wars. You don't have to. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. <laughs> I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. Okay, this place looks really awesome with the sunset. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kill them all. Force lightning. <laughs> Hey, where's the force lightning? Thank you, Fry! Ultimate power! Oh, I love it. <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Right. The Sith will tell me, will tell her master about my contribution. Right. How can I share that? You're the one that convinced me to go through with this plan. Why wouldn't I see it through? Because you're a Sith. I want some guarantee here. Forget it. There is no guarantee. You helped me. I'll help you. Or don't you trust me? Ah, swearing Brishway. That bloody likely. Give me the holocron. That wasn't even close to Brish. That was a different accent. Just so I don't insult anybody. You're not getting the holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. Forget about it. Holocron is now mine. I don't trust you. Over my dead body. That's the plan, Solo. Oh, wait. Wrong person. Dark side points. Yeah. <laughs> she could just give it to me. You know. It's not like she was actually going to give it to me or actually give me any credit, so... I wasn't going to let her get away with it. She's a Sif. My character hates Sif. He doesn't care. I still don't believe this is recording right now. But it is. Okay. So, on to the final tomb. What strange mystery shall await us? You shall find out. And if you played the game, you obviously know. This is probably my favorite tomb. Probably. If I had to pick out a tomb. Oh, you could report. Let's go ahead and repair that droid. HK, I have not been training you for nothing. Deactivate the droid. Optimize. Everything. Now leave it alone. And I get a level up and use down. Ha 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 ha. Let's 
still gray, but I'm starting to go down to the dark side. Will that be permanent? We shall find out. Uh, more persuade. I like persuade. Even though I'm getting kind of up there, I might go back to treat injury soon. And now force powers. Um. Yeah, we're going to do with that. Kaboom. Hey, let's talk to Joe Lee. I don't know. I just feel like it. Got something on your mind, dude? So, when did you go to Cash Heap? Oh, that was not until many years later, to tell the truth. I spent quite some time wandering the galaxy. The Jedi just let you go? That doesn't make any sense. You decide to leave and they're like, Oh, okay. We'll just let someone who has the full knowledge of the Force and a lightsaber leave. Why wouldn't they? I had refused my promotion to Jedi. I was a Padawan who had left the Order, nothing more. I traveled from one civilized system to the next, never staying long. I don't even think I knew what I was searching for. It wasn't as if my travels were pleasant either. There were plenty of folks who distrusted the Jedi after the war. Or worse. With good reason, I imagine. I suppose so. Not everyone would understand why the Jedi would suddenly start killing themselves and tearing up half the galaxy, would they? If people were treating me with suspicion, they were looking at me with greed. I don't know how many thought they could make use of me for their own ends. I got so sick of the treachery and deceit. I left the civilized parts of the galaxy and headed instead for the uncivilized parts. That's when you went to Kashyyyk? You're calling Wookiees uncivilized? Good job! Actually, I was on my way somewhere else when I crash-landed on Kashyyyk. The ship I was using was a rust bucket. You flew in? And that? You're braver than I thought. How'd you survive the crash anyway? I'd taken some damage passing through an unexpected asteroid field, as I recall. But I wasn't completely without some systems. I could still guide her a bit when I crashed. It wasn't what I would call the smoothest landing, especially considering I ended up smack in the depths of the Shadowlands. But I lived. So why don't you just fix your ship and leave? <laughs> I'm no mechanic. And besides, after you plunge nose first in the trunk of a five kilometer high tree, chances are you don't have much <coughs> ship left. He crashed and stayed. Sure, why not? It seemed like an interesting enough place to spend a couple of decades exploring. How did you survive? That was a challenge at first. You've seen the kind of creatures that exist down there, and you miss the really big ones. I was still able to rely on the Force to keep me safe for the most part. The rest of the trick is keeping out of the way of most of the predators. Could've been easy. You know, it couldn't be. No, that's true. Still, most of the creatures grew accustomed to me, and I to them. At least none of them ever heard of a Jedi. You're completely insane, you know that? Ah, what do you know? I had done enough wandering by that point, thank you very much. I felt at peace in the Shadowlands. How does he survive? Oh wait, never mind. And the Wookiees didn't mind? Oh, they did at first, oh yes. I can't say I was overly pleased to encounter a group of indigenous giant carpets either, I can assure you of that. Did you fight them? I mean, we're in the middle of a tomb here, I want to know if you fought Wookiees, come on. No, no. I was the intruder in their land, after all. They got to trust me well enough after a couple of decades of my aid. Mm. You helped them, of course. When I could, I would assist the few young ones who would get lost in the Shadowlands or attacked unexpectedly by the wildlife. I must say, for a while there the Wookiees actually thought I was some kind of benevolent forest god. Amusing, really. I set them straight eventually. Wasn't it all a bit primitive for you? Not really. Kashik is a place you can feel very small in. 
felt good to devote my time to helping people and living simply. Spent two decades like that? Wow. What can I say? I did it all for the Wookiees. The Wookiees? The Wookiees. Well, okay, maybe I needed some time on a quiet and remote planet, but if you ever need a friend, an incredibly strong hairball isn't a bad call. You are a very strange old man. I must admit it. Why, thank you. You're not so bad yourself, all things considered. At any rate, we should be moving along, don't you think? If you sat around this long in the Shadowlands, a tack would eat you. No, we're just standing around in an empty Sith tomb. Or not so empty. We're perfectly safe. Now then, we could head over that way and get a couple of bits of... Actually, we'll head over this way. Anyway. And we're now fighting. This is a dead end over here. With lots and lots of bat-like creatures. Once again, another wild Zupatipu. I love Zubats. And we're killing countless bats over and over again. Bats bigger than ourselves. I think they're bats. They're not really bats, but close. Come on, get a critical hit. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Now, not much over here except for a couple corpses. I think they have okay stuff on them. Which is why we come over here. Um, yeah, some credits. That's probably good enough for me. Come on, there has to be more. One Sith corpse? Okay, I forget. I take that. Ow! Good thing I know how to force heal. What is this, a running gag of me running over grenade? Landmines? Very nice. Now get out of my way. So that's actually kind of useless. So if you don't want to go ahead and go over there for... Just don't go over there unless you want the experience. Ooh, plasma grenade. Very nice. In dire to kata. I don't know. HK, just kill everybody, okay? I don't even know what my character is doing. I can't see him. All I can see is HK. This is horrible. If I bring up anything else during the fight, it's a bad idea because you can't really hear me. You probably didn't know what I just said, now did you? Oh, okay. Ancient Council. And I'm lagging really badly. Okay, continue, come on. Open the door! That was easy. Why do we even need it? Ooh, negative one computer use. Very nice. Ah, uh, fine. Let's go get into this tomb and see whatever... Ooh, corpse. Ah, no, I missed the corpse! And... Apparently... Oh, no. HK's fine. <laughs> hey, HK, kill him! Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web. Hey! The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Why doesn't HK kill him? He's not affected. Are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but... I demand to be released at once. <laughs> I may do that in time, in time. But for now, I've decided to keep you in restraint. No 
a point in you getting strange ideas in your head and ruining fun. No, 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 no. Let's keep things on a more civilized note, shall we? Now then, introductions are always the place to start, if I remember correctly. This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. Hello, that to you. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Bird. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. The old hermit in hiding? What? Old hermit? Ha! Can't that blasted Utha teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I HK is still running. If you look behind him, HK is running. That is so weird. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? Would you let me go then? <laughs> Then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. And if I refuse to take um, these silly little tests? Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. Of course. What other way would it be? You're a madman! Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? <laughs> what's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. And if I passed your test? Why then you go free. Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying two laps too. It'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are set remote. I'll forget about it. I refuse to play along. I don't remember offering you a choice. Yes, you, you did. You can refuse to answer my questions, of course, but then, I'm afraid, I will just have to assume the worst. So then. This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Yes. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Yes. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. No, but go ahead. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we can both survive. Attacking together. Hmm. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risky. Own life? True. And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, Let us begin. your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Hmm. I refuse to answer this question. Then I must assume you did not know the correct answer. Sad, really, that you would do this to yourself. Ah, well, it's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. 
You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They heed for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? Oh, that's easy. I accept the reward and system. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no. Bad idea, bad idea. At any rate, here is your punishment. I don't scream yes. like that. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole, or keep it to yourself? I keep it to myself. I don't like the Sith. If the Sith knows about that power, they will become stronger. I don't want the Sith to become stronger. Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Still going? All right then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Well, since you said him, I can't assume it's going to be Jahani, so I'm not gonna play along because obviously if I kill him, I kill him. Where's the good of that? If I give him another chance, he could mess up again. So I'm not playing along. You're not trying to make me angry, are you? That would be pointless posturing on your part. Is this so hard? Hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Well, long as my enemies are the Sith, I strike at my enemies. Fool! It's a trick question! A true Sith never dies! <laughs> I hate you! I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine! Test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. <laughs> what to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Right! Blurry you up! Okay, HK, stop running and start shooting. Oh, stop choking me! Come on, we can kill him! Oh! Ah ha 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 ha! HK, get him! Blur him up! There we go, now we're getting some left. Guess he wasn't a true sick after all. I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. Maybe. Oh yeah, but don't let it get to your head. Well, you can have those writings he mentioned. I won't fight you for them. Master Uthar will be very pleased if you give them to him, you know. Commentary. You're gonna trust this organic meatbag, Master? Very dicey decision. I know, I I'll know. Head back to the Academy. I need some rest. So I can still go do good things. So I'm not actually evil. Uh, 
much I like I want that. Those things are the ugliest things of all. So next time on Star Wars Night Shield Republic, we talk to Master Ufar and see how well we have done because we have done everything, I believe. I may have to double check, but I believe we've done everything. I'm just getting the crystals. Yay! Worst ending ever because Iran did is still going. Huzzah!